today's video, I'm going to be talking about applying and swatching my top favorite nude lipsticks and lip liners that I use on a daily basis. These are basically colors that complement olive, medium, tan, or yellow skin tones. I made a video about a year ago on the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation and got quite a lot of questions on my lip color. So I hope this video will answer those questions and help you see what the shades look like before you can purchase them. So firstly, I will go over the nude lip liners. I basically use two MAC lip liners and alternate between them, depending on what undertone I would like on the day. So the two lip liners I use are the MAC Whirl and the Strip Down. They're almost running out, so I clearly love them and use them a lot. The MAC Whirl has more of a maroon or violet undertone, and it's very similar to my lip color, so it's perfect. Okay, so this is what it looks like on my lips and then I'll be swatching it on my arm as well. The second lip liner is the Strip Down by MAC. This one has more of a light brown undertone and if you are looking to go a shade darker in the brown, then I would go with the Cork lip liner. So it just depends on what undertone you prefer or what you are going for that day. This is what the Strip Down lip liner looks like on my lips and then swatched on my hand. Okay, moving on to the lipsticks, my first favorite one is Whirl Again by MAC. This can obviously be paired with the Whirl Lip Liner. So this again is like a mauve maroon or violet undertone and it looks great on us individuals with olive or medium skin tones. I find that Whirl also looks gorgeous on Indian skin, our Middle Eastern and Latin American skin as well. So this is what the Whirl lipstick looks like on my lips and then the swatches on my arm. My next favorite lipstick is actually Flesh Pop by MAC, but unfortunately they discontinued it, so I picked this similar nude color. So this one's called the Bosom Friend. This is quite a similar nude color with the exception that this one has a slight baby pink tone to the lipstick. Now this one I would personally probably not wear it on its own because it can wash us olives out a little bit. It has that true nude color which is almost like a concealer but if you are going for that look then I would pair it with either the lip, uh, Whirl Lip Liner or the Strip Down Lip Liner and wear it on, on its own. Okay, so this is what the color looks like on its own on my lips and then swatched on my hand. Okay, For me personally, I would pair this one either with the Whirl Lipstick or with the Maybelline Lipstick in the Dreamer which I will show you next. The next one is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Dreamer. This one basically lasts all day. Like I normally accidentally eat up all of my lipsticks, but this one stays on all day regardless of what I do. So this one is a pink nude color as you can see and I'll show you what it looks like. Another one of my favorites in the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink range is the Loyalist in number 05. And this one is a peachy nude color and this is what it looks like. Before I talk about the final color, something that I do personally on most days is use a special combination that I think works amazingly well. So for that combination, I basically start with the Whirl Lip Liner by MAC and then go over that with the Loyalist and Dreamer by Maybelline and then top it off with the Bosom Friend by MAC. I don't know what it is about this lip combo, but I really love the look. Okay, moving on to the last and final lip color. This one is a really affordable and cheap lipstick, but the color on it is amazing. I'm pretty sure it's an Australian brand, but you can buy it online. So this one's called BYS and it's in the shade Pink Dusk. I really like this color because it's like a combination in itself of peachy as well as pink colors in one. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so those are my favorite nude lipsticks and lip liners at the moment. They look great on all of skin tones and I hope it makes it easier for you to pick the nude shades now. I would still recommend obviously using the testers at the store to see yourself before purchasing the nudes. But I do hope this video was helpful to you and I will see you in my next video.